Yo, yo, what's up everybody? It's Zach back at you, coming at you with another video. I'm going to be talking about the NFL, NFL free agency. But in particular, because they're in my division, we might as well talk about them. We're going to talk about the Philadelphia Eagles and a couple of moves that Philadelphia has made as what has transpired over the day. Now, I heard they had traded DeMarco Murray, the two-time Pro Bowl running back, from the Eagles and the former Dallas Cowboy. They traded him to the Tennessee Titans. I made a video about that earlier. But from what I was also told was before they tr the Eagles traded DeMarco Murray, they traded their prized cornerback, Byron Maxwell, that four-year, $63 million corner that they stole from Seattle's Legion of Boom last year or two years ago in the offseason in 2015, and Kiko Alonso, the star-prized linebacker that Chip Kelly had acquired from the Buffalo Bills for Pro Bowl line, uh, running back LaShawn McCoy. And to this day, even as a Cowboy fan, that trade didn't make any sense. Why would you trade one of the best running backs in the league for an injury-prone linebacker like Kiko Alonso. Now, granted, he was lucky this year he didn't re-tear re that ACL because I remember in that game against my Dallas Cowboys, week two, it was on September 20th. You know, he, like I said, he got lucky he didn't tear his ACL again. They said he had a partial tear in the ACL, but it wasn't completely torn. So he, he got lucky this past year. But a lot of people know that he is an injury-prone player like the injury-prone player that the Eagles re-signed in Sam Bradford. But getting back to what Philadelphia did, they traded Byron Maxwell and Kiko Alonso to the Miami Dolphins. I don't know who will go to Philadelphia as a player, but... Draft picks are presumably going to go via a way to Philadelphia, kind of like what Tennessee is doing in the exchange for DeMarco Murray. Maybe at minimum, I think if any Miami gives up any player, it might be Kenny Stills. I think he's a really good run, uh, wide receiver. I really do. I think, you know, to this day, I still don't think that... Um, I don't think the Saints should have got rid of him because Drew Brees is a really good quarterback. In fact, he's pff, shit. He's better than t Ryan Tannehill. I'll tell you that much. Ryan Tannehill didn't really give him a chance, you know, with Jarvis Landry and uh, uh, no, they didn't have Mike Wallace. I'm sorry, Mike Wallace left uh, Miami. Or I think he got released by Miami, and then he went to Minnesota, and then. I just heard recently, I think the Dolphins also released Greg Jennings, the former Green Bay Packer and Viking. Yeah, that's right. They released uh, Greg Jennings. Getting back to what the Dolphins did, they they acquired Maxwell, assuming that they're probably, or they have released Optimus Brent Grimes, who I think Brent Grimes is good, but he's getting up there in age. I think he's... He's like 31 or 30. He He's up there in age. He's finally getting old, but he can still play. Um, but I'm shocked the Eagles didn't demand either a first round or Tennessee second round. At least Tennessee second or third round picks for DeMarco Murray. I think they got a fourth or a fifth or some shit like that. I don't know. Um... I'll leave all the details in the description on the trades and who each team got in the deal. Obviously, you know Miami got Maxwell and Alonzo. Now, of course, these players are not going to their respective teams yet until the NFL League year starts on March 9th, which is, in my time, it is tomorrow. Because today is what? the Right now, as I'm recording it, it is the 8th, March 8th. So tomorrow these players will be going to their respective new teams, such as DeMarco Murray going to Tennessee, 
Byron Maxwell, Kiko Alonso will go to Miami. Miami will send out whoever to Philadelphia, and that will be that. But leave comments in the comment section on what you think about this trade. I think personally it was a... I think it was a win-win for the Miami Dolphins. I think Miami really needed a, a younger defensive player. Byron Maxwell fits their system. And that's also because Byron Maxwell was playing too much zone coverage under Bill Davis's defense. And Alonzo, if Alonzo could stay healthy, he could be a really good linebacker behind that front that already a in a front seven that was pretty solid. I think behind Indomitian Sue, Olivier Vernon, Derek Shelby. I think they could be set on defense this bat in this upcoming season. But we shall see. Like I said, leave comments in the comment section below what you think. Um but until then, Big Z out.